Hello, and welcome back to Throm the Depths. Okay, so we have three new Wing Zero classes, which means that that means three more names. Um, unfortunately, we are down Wing Zero, and we're down the Anwick, which is entirely down to my Neptune and all the budget cuts that went on. Whoops. Um, so, if I just select Home Fleet, select those guys, and can I split into New Fleet? Yes, okay. I want two of you to go to the north. And I want one of you to go here. And I will have to name you. I will name you once you're in position, but let me show you the bomber that I've been working on. Okay, so I've clad it. Oh. I should probably, like, let you out of dry dock. We Bam. Off. You may go now. Feel free to travel. I might just go to the map and pull everybody. Uh, you can go out and play. You can go out and play. You can go out and play. Have fun. You know, I'll also name you now. Okay. So you are the HMS Kevin Honka. The HMS Honka. Welcome to the fleet. Do not ask what happened to the ships before you. You are the HMS. They know I'm a ninja. Oh, wait, no, no. Just. No, I'm Ninja. The HMS, they know I'm Ninja. And the last one is the HMS Vinco Backless. So the HMS Backless. Okay. Our three new frigates are ready to go. I shouldn't be on this. God damn it. Take me to my lovely fleet. Uh, home fleet, there we go. I would like to... Teleport. Right. Okay. Where is my... There we go. Bomber. Let's go to the bomber. Uh, up. And down. And up. And down. And build mode. So you can see I have clad it. It is all pretty full. There's even like a little cockpit, which is flat and not very aerodynamic. But let's just ignore that and, and move swiftly on because I couldn't really do much of it. I wanted a cockpit, goddammit. Uh, yes, cockpits are problematic. Okay, so we need to put AI in. So I've left the AI out so we can talk about the different weapon systems. Uh, right, so firstly, here we have the firing piece. It does reload time of 1 point, uh, 0.15, kinetic damage of 300, AP goes through metal, explosive of almost 100, and controller, AI mainframe, and then you see that there is two cards coming off, well, two front back extenders. The great thing about this is it's going to allow us to actually control the ship from one of these as well. So I would like, um, target prioritization, endpoint selection. So target prioritization, I want you to, um, set value per block. Uh, should you target larger things? I mean, no, not really. You could target small things, really. Target things that are basically the most threat. Our range, yeah, I would favor close people. Speed, meh, altitude. Um, yeah, maybe favor altitude a little bit. And then, oh god, where am I going? Here, I would like to require actually before firing. Five, that's fine, that's fine, that's fine, that's fine. Oh god. And then extra constraints in vehicle space. I don't need to because it's only constrained to a 45 degree fire... Yeah, 45 azimuth, 45 elevation. So that can't actually shoot us. Oh, actually, it might be able to. Yeah, since it's back here that it starts, it can go to 45 degrees and shoot us. So I need to actually constrict that. So one thing you can do is you can go extra constraints. And then it's going to be a... Oh, God. Set the marker size to, like, a really large. Maybe not quite so large. Okay. I would like you to be minus 30. 30. Maybe a little bit less than that, actually. 25? 
Hmm. That should be fine. And up down is fine, basically, whatever. Maybe the max elevation should come down a little bit. If we brought that down to, like, zero, is that the right one? No, that's not the right one. Um, 45, and you should be 30, just to make sure we don't shoot ourselves in the cockpit too much. Uh, it's probably fine at 45. I'll bring that down to 40. Okay, so that's where it can shoot with the cannon. Back out of here. Boop. And let's sort out your AI. I want you max range to fire. 1.5 kilometers. Bring it down maybe to about 1.2 kilometers. There we go. And then over here, I would like the aerial AI and the propulsion balancing. Aerial AI. I would like you to um, angle deviation before turn started. That's fine. Angle deviation before we roll. So any more than like 50 degree angle deviation, it will start to roll. Maybe increase that a little bit. It's a pretty heavy craft. Most extreme roll we aim for to facilitate a turn. 92, that's fine. Cruising altitude, I would like you to go higher. I actually want you to cruise pretty high up. Call it 207. Minimum altitude, definitely bring that up. Minimum altitude, I really want to be like 50 maximum. This is beyond which we bring an attack run. Quite far away because connecting missile is going to take a little bit to actually uh, line up. So call that... 500. This is the one which are bought attack run. 50. Uh, increase that to about 75 because we're actually going to be up quite high in the air. So call it 70. Elapsed time of force on our attack run. I'm going to force only at about 20 seconds. Okay. The rest of that is pretty good. Now, for the sides, uh, we should probably put a mirror line on. Mirror line. I have a little bit of an issue because these... Ooh, I didn't put a failsafe on that AI. Um, what are you? You're an explosive warhead. I can get rid of you. I should put a failsafe on. Failsafe's important. I would like... Uh, where's the AI failsafe? It's on a local weapon control failsafe. There we go. That is not the right way around. Has no failsafe connected. Yes, you do. Into the side? It can't go in the top? What? Really? You have to be kidding. Really? That ruins my plan. You left to just make do without a failsafe command, which is not good. Okay, you don't need a failsafe command because uh, otherwise you won't fire because the laser might be passing through us and there's two sets of lasers. I would like you to have a wireless command. So I would like you to communicate wirelessly with the rest of the ship. So that'll be... Um... Wireless receiver. And we're going to put the receiver there. Uh, actually, let's just make it look better. There. And then that's going to have to connect to an AI unit somewhere in the craft. We haven't got the AI unit yet. Uh, where can I put the AI unit? A lot of space has been taken up. Um, there's a little bit of space back here. I could put AI transmitter. Would be removing part of the engine. Left, right card slot. Yeah, that works. Okay. Which means... AI mainframe. Then wireless transmitter. And... Left, right card slot. Turret polarization. Take the mirror line. Endpoint selection. Alright, I would like you to target... Fast-moving things. Attitude doesn't matter so much, but I'd like to favor altitude. Bigger things. Definitely bigger things, actually. And those connect kill vehicle missiles should do a fair amount of damage. Okay. All right, let's put the mirror line back down. And we'll go to work on the torpedo system. Right, so the torpedo system is sitting here, which goes up to mainframe here. Weapon controller. See, the weapon controller is actually above the mainframe because it can go down too. So it goes down, picks it up, and then transmit it to mainframe here, which has front back card slot. See? Amazing. Target polarization. I would like to be... Hmm. What do we want for this? Range. Range doesn't matter so much. Speed. Uh, that all doesn't really matter. So do just duplicate that on this side as well. 
Like, yeah, that, that's really all that matters. Um, then you definitely need, like, restrictions on your altitude you can fire at. Maximum altitude to engage. Basically, craft in the water. 15. Craft in the water. 15. And you shouldn't engage, actually, um, underwater. The Kinect Hillvickers can't really engage underwater, so... You're not a Kinect Hillvicker. You are there. There we go. Um, I would like you to be minimum altitude to engage. Minus 25. Eh... Minus six. Minus six, there we go. So we have torpedoes, which should be pretty good. Let's just set the torpedoes. Now, I haven't done this because I want to set them up on camera. So we've got... Mm, we can make the torpedo longer. Do we have a space at the front? Yeah, we do. Oh, God. They're going over land? That's cheating. Right, come back. They, I know they cannot go over land. We'll have to just catch them in the straits here. How fast can they go? 4.4, .4, we can go 3. Oh, that's tough. But if they're going to cheat and go over land to get to something of mine that can go, can fly, I'm going to cheat and engage them on land. If they're going to do that, serves them right. Okay. Oh, they are sending another force down here, actually. We might actually have to take this battle. What are you? Barracuda? Atlas, Urchin, and an Urchin. Okay, it's got Barracuda, fall back. I'm sorry. It's too risky. In fact, I might send the Straits to fend- Yeah, let's form these two up. How fast are you moving? 5.4, and we can move 10. So, right, we're going to pull back to here. I have to engage them there. Cheating. Ugh. I dislike these people intensely. Okay, um, let's go off the map screen again. We'll just continue work on this for the moment. I'll have to do. Uh, and one thing I need to do is actually need to add a balloon, because otherwise this thing won't take off because the jet engines won't work in water. So we need a balloon deployer. We'll put it here. Block. Uh, no, it's under air. Balloon deployer. Balloon. Balloon, 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 balloon. Balloon, balloon, balloon. Hot air balloon deployer. Bam. And then, actually, I think there is an AI card for this. AI. Uh, water start? Yeah. Uh, help the airplanes with aerial AI equipped with balloons. Okay, so I have to figure out a place to put this. Can't pick a zero. Do I actually have anywhere to put it? I think I may have taken up all the slots available. Which would be terrible. Because we can't need this. Yeah. Although there is actually space left here. AI. I would like left, right. I would like. You know what? Let's put the patrol in as well at the same time. Patrol and water start. Altitude to start process 10 meters. Fine. Altitude to end process 22. That should work, I think. Might need more of these. In which case, that's easy enough to sort. And I would like fleet main, blocks, lightweight, square corners. Oh uh, no, slip down. And Triangle. There we go. That should be enough lift. Let's fix this where I ruined it earlier.
And do I need to fix the back of here? I mean, it is pretty hidden now. Um, yeah, we'll leave it exposed for now. Okay, in theory, this thing should handle fine. And I say in theory, because I do not trust it whatsoever. Okay. Do your thing. Oh, wrong tractor beam. God damn it. Ah, <sighs> It's not terrible. It's not as fast as I'd like. We need to repair. Repair my little sub. Uh, where is it? It's here. I would like to warp to this. I would like to give you the patrol order. I would like you to be here. And if we go out map mode. Oh yeah. We're getting some pretty good speed here, actually. 23. I like faster, but I will settle for 23. Ah, now I know the reason we're bouncing around. It's because our little thrusters that are here to help us are set to 1. We want to set them to point 1. Because otherwise, they're going to be like, We need to correct! Boom! Oh, we need to correct again. It's basically, they're overcorrecting constantly, so... If we set them down to point 0.1... Point one. And I know we're about to get into a fight any second, so point one. Point one. I'm actually feeling pretty confident about this. I like the craft. Now, you know, I, I like the uh, the helicarrier, and we had a number of problems with our helicarrier, unfortunately. The up in smoke is um an interesting, interesting craft to say the least. Why did our balloons deploy? Did we just get too close to the ground for some absolutely unknown reason? Or we could go to the battle. Uh, right, where is this? Here. I would like to do this battle. I would like to do this battle very much. Okay. Fight. Oh, I had the wrong one selected. Cancel battle. Fight. There we go. Please be here. Then please show them what idiots they are. Begin battle. Okay, who are we going to be on? The Kevin Honker. Okay. Oh, incoming missiles. And they are leaping. Warning. The enemy paddle guns are leaping and exploding already. That's quite funny. Now, unfortunately, our missiles are laser targeted and can't really get over that hill. Our cannons might be able to. One paddle gun's trying very hard, bless it. But it is too damaged. It will eventually disappear. It's got quite a long time. Cool down timeout, but... Okay. So, I think there is only one way now. To sort this out. Have fun on my way. Stop firing torpedoes up onto the beach. You just ruin Holiday Makers, like, fun. Like, holiday makers have come along. They're gonna try and have a nice time and... Oh, God. See? See? See what you do? You're gonna murder me. You're probably gonna murder each other. You're gonna fire torpedoes into each other, aren't you? Of course you are. What else would you do? <sighs> I need to teach you manners. Okay. Hup. Oh, God. Um. Maybe we should capture it for ourselves. It is... It has been stupid enough to beach itself in the middle of the desert. I think I think that is I think that is fine. I think that is a very good reason. 
And unexploded ordnance. Oh, really? You made me come all the way over here? That that's it. That's that's the last one. I came all the way over here, and then you finally became somewhat competent. Really? You did that to me? <sighs> I despair. We have an urchin. Okay, I'm gonna send it back to base. Apparently 29 meters above the ground, but okay. Uh, you've done a massive amount of damage to each other. Please repair and come up here. And you're lining up for a fight. I think that's a good place to leave it. Okay, um, what do I have here? Vehicle. I would like to pull all. I would then like to play, and I would like to warp to. Right. Let's finish this before the end, because I'm so close to finishing this. We might as well. If we go to blocks, no, air, yes. We go to heat decoy. Heat decoys pretend to be um, like hot points, or they are hot points, where you can basically get any missiles to try and target. They need power, however, so I'm just going to get rid of one. Had enough power to run 9%. Yeah, that's close enough. Oh, uh, oh. Shields are flickering. Yeah, I need to cut back on my shields a bit. Okay, let's cut back on this one. Or we could go to a battle. That'll be next episode, though. I have been Andrew Lysium. Uh, if you enjoyed, please leave a like, not subscribe, please consider subscribing. And until next time... Stay shiny.